Cheek with Mike's Guitar Lessons.com, and that was the beginning of Yellow Submarine, a pretty simple, just rhythm based song that if you know a few open, open position chords, you're not going to have any problems with it. We're going to do all that right there uh, that I just played. That's the verse, and it just repeats when you have the verse again, so not a lot really changes. And um, if you want the rest of the lesson, I'll make another video, and that'll probably be it for this song. That'll be at www.mikesguitarlessons.com along with hundreds of other videos, like always. I know I always say that, but um, let's go ahead and get started on uh, the chord progression. Now, we need to take care of the chords that you need to know first, and then the rhythm and everything is pretty simple. So, in case you already know what, uh, how to play these chords, we've got a D, a C, a G. You can play G fifth if you want to, but uh, I, I'll just stick with the normal G here. We've got E minor. A minor. Okay, now I'm going to go over how to play those real quick and then we'll put the chord progression together. Okay, so uh, this is going to be pretty quick because most of you should know how to play these chords, I'm guessing, by now. And uh, the first chord we have is a D. So uh, we're going to start at the D string, the fourth string from the bottom. That's open. Then on the G, you've got second fret. On the B string, you've got third fret. And on the E string, the skinny E string, you've got 2nd fret. If you play the A string, that's really okay too, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but you don't want to play this low E string here, this thick one. Uh, okay, that's the D. Now our C chord is the second one we need. Um, starting at the A string, you've got 3rd fret. The D string is 2nd fret. The G is open. The B string is 1st fret. And the E string is open. We don't play this thick E string. So there's your C. Now the G that we're going to use is going to be this one. And uh, your middle finger is going to play the third fret on the thick E string. Your first finger is going to play the second fret on the A string. Then you've got open on the D, open on the G, open on the B, and third fret on the E string. You can use your pinky or your third finger for that one. So that's the G we're using. Then, uh, let me see, we have the E minor is next. These are all six strings. You're going to play open on the E string, second fret on the A, second fret on the D, open on the G, open on the B, and open on the E. Okay? So that's our fourth chord. A minor is our, is our next chord. And the last chord we have to learn. It's a five string chord, so we're not going to play this thick, uh, thick E string here. We're going to play open on the A string. We're going to play second fret on the D, second fret on the G, first fret on the B, and open on the E. But we don't play the C. Okay? So that's your A minor. Now, just to set it up for you, the first time we go through this chord progression, um, it's going to be really we're just starting off. Uh, strumming a D. Each of the chords, really, we're just strumming once and then going to the next one. Now, some of them we stay on a real short amount of time, and, and then the one right after we let ring out. But the D is one of those that's going to be a long one, so you just strum the D, and then you're going to play C and then G. Now, C is going to be the quicker one, so you play C and then G and let the G ring out. So, C, G. Then we do that with E minor and A minor. E minor is going to be the quick one. A minor is the one that we're going to let ring out. So we go E minor, A minor. Okay. Next we have C and D. C is the short one, D is the long one. So C, D. You see, and then we have G and D for the next one. G is the short one, so G, D. Let that D ring out. Then we have C, G again. So uh, again, C the short one, G is the long one. Okay, the 
an E minor, A minor again. Then C, D again. So C, D. And then we play C, D again. Now when you play that last D, that's when you have to start playing more of a rhythm instead of strumming each chord once. So this far into the song, it's, it's this right here. Uh, and let me actually play along with the uh, actual song so you can see how it goes. So I'm going to play what I just taught you right there. In the time when I was born, lived a man who sailed to sea, and he told us of his life in the land of submarines. So we sailed to sea. Okay, you can see I was about to start playing that rhythm right there. So that's as far as we've gotten. Now, um, you're pretty much repeating your chord progression here. Um, when you get to that end of that first one, remember you have C, D, and then you play C, D again, and when you play that last D, you're actually strumming there, okay? And then you're going back into the chord progression again. So, um, basically from that point, you know, after you start playing that D in rhythm, then you're going to go uh, in the same chord progression, so you're going to go C, G, D minor, A minor, C, D, G, D, C, G, E minor, A minor, C, D, and then you're going to start on the chorus, okay? So what I'm going to do here to kind of help you out is I'm going to slow the speed down on this song, about 80%, in case you're not used to changing with these chords. And we're going to play along with it. And we're going to play right up to the chorus, okay? But remember, it's slowed down here, so if you're, um, once you get this full speed, then actually play along with the real song, you'll have to be a little bit faster. So here we go. In the time when I was born, lived a man who sailed to sea, and he told us of his life. the rhythm. So we is right there. Now I'll make the second video for that and have it up on the website. Um, anyways, thanks for watching and uh, good luck with the song.